with Gymnast.com, and I'm here with Samantha Peshek. And Samantha, give us a little bit of taste of what this media thing's all about and, and what you guys have been doing and, and how this hype for Beijing is already starting. Give us a little Well, indication. we just finished some photo shoots and with Getty Images, and we're doing some interviews later. And just they want us to get our story out and to let it the public know our story and to see how, how hard we worked and how excited we are for the games. Does this make it more real now, like Beijing is just right around the corner, does, does this bring it to the forefront in your mind? Definitely, since a lot of the other sports, they already know who's going to the Olympics, you know, the gymnasts, we still don't know yet, so it just makes me want to go back and work hard and, you know, strive to be one of the selected few. And how, how hard is that? Do you like being selected for the Olympic team so close to the Olympic Games, or do you feel like it, should, it would be better for you as an athlete to know further in advance? Um, of course, like as an individual athlete, it would be best to know early on, but I think it's best for our sport to pick it late so they choose the right team at the right time, and so everyone's peak is at the Olympic Games. And uh, tell me about 2007 was your first world championships. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about that experience and your team winning a gold medal. Oh my gosh, it was the most exciting experience of my life. I can't even describe it in words. Um, we went out, we bonded as a team, we just really united on the competition floor and did our job. Everyone did their job and pulled each other together and we ended up on top so it was, felt amazing and I'm so excited for this year. And then you continued that success in 2008 at American Cup. You had a great competition yeah. there. What was that like competing on live TV at, at the American Cup? Um, I think it was my first time ever on live TV. And you don't really think about that while you're competing. You just focus on your teens. But after, you know, all my friends and family were so supportive. I had, like, billions of text messages. It was so nice that everyone was supporting me. And they really showed me how much they love me and care for me and were behind me all the way. That's great. Now, um, tell me a little bit about the training camps uh, at the ranch and what that process is like, what the training camps are like. Is it about developing team camaraderie there, building a team relationship, or is it still have that individual competitive competitiveness um, at the ranch? Well, we go about once a month to Houston, Texas um, at the National Team Training Center, and we room together with about three other girls in each room, and um, I think they do it. It's a pretty hardcore camp, and but it's also a good bonding time for the athletes because after the workouts, we all come back together and just hang out and just rest, you know. And um, during workouts, we cheer for each other. So it's more of a team building atmosphere. That's right. And do you think that's gonna that's gonna help you help the team do better in, in Beijing? Definitely. You know, we all have known each other for forever now, and um, we know our likes, dislikes, and we know what each of us needs to be at the top shape. So we're we're just pulling for each other and doing everything we can to make each other the best we can be. Great. We're pulling for you too. <laughs> Thank best you so much. Thanks.